हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल फाइसल परग जांबुलकर अप टिल नाउ वी हैव सीन हाउ टू परफॉर्म इंसर्ट एंड अपडेट ऑपरेशंस ऑन सेलफोर्स ऑब्जेक्ट बाय यूजिंग अपेक्स प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू परफॉर्म डिलीट एंड अनडिलीट ऑपरेशंस ऑन सेलफोर्स ऑब्जेक्ट नाउ सी सो हियर आई हैव लॉग्ड इन माय सेलफोर्स डेवलपर ऑर्ग नाउ सी वी विल ओपन आवर डेवलपर कंसोल फर्स्ट वी विल सी हाउ मेनी रिकॉर्ड्स आर देयर इन आवर कॉलेज ऑब्जेक्ट so see we will go to file open resource here we will search college so this is our object we will double click on this we will select name college id and city so by pressing control button i have selected this then we will click on query so our query is ready then we will click on execute okay so these records are available in our object now see what we'll do we'll delete one record with college name wc so this record with college name wc so we'll delete this record with college name wc so see total rows are 30 right so after deleting this record there should be 12 rows right now see how to delete this record so for that purpose what we will do we'll open anonymous window will maximize this screen now see first we have to identify which row should be deleted so for that purpose what we have to do we have to write query in square bracket like this now see so we'll write query select now see we require this field name right so we'll write name college underscore id underscore underscore c city underscore underscore c form our object api name so that is college underscore underscore c so by this all records will get selected right now see we want record where college name is wc right so here we will write name is equal to in single quote we will write wc okay so this query now it will fetch record where college name that is name is wc right now see when we mention any sql query in square bracket it returns list right list of records so what we will do we will create one list variable so see type of this list will be this object api name we will give one name to this variable list variable records is equal to right so this query will fetch a record where college name is wc right and those records will get in this right in records list variable now see it is very simple just like insert and update operation we can use keyword delete and records so by this it will delete all the records so whatever the record those are fetched from this those records will get deleted okay so what we'll do we'll execute this okay so see before there were 13 records right now what we'll do we'll refresh grid we'll click on this button refresh grid so here you can see now there are only 12 records right and here you can see there is no college with name wc right we have deleted record with college name wc right so that record is deleted now from where we can find this deleted record so see here so see we will go to lightning experience here we have this nine dots so we'll click on this here we'll search recycle bin here we got it right recycle bin here we can find record with name wc right so we have deleted this record right so this deleted record will be in recycle bin if you want we can restore it from here also we'll open our anonymous window now see just like insert and update operation here we have used delete keyword right in the same way we can use database class database dot delete in round brackets we have to mention this list variable 
like this. Now, what is the difference? So, here partial success is not allowed. And here, when we are using database class, here partial success is allowed, but when when we are passing false along with this record variable. So, when we are passing this false parameter along with this list variable, so in that case, partial success is allowed. But normally, when we are using keyword delete, so in that case, partial success is not allowed. So, it is just similar to insert and update operation. So, in this way, we can delete records from the Salesforce object. In next video, we will see how to undelete or restore records from the recycle bin. So friends, I hope you like this video. If A is then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.